Hi everyone, I hope you all are doing great. Today's video is gonna be about how you can open and read EPUB and PDF files on Obsidian and not only read but also highlight as well as annotate them on Obsidian. So let me show you what it's gonna look like. Uh, here's a book, uh, give and take, which I'm planning to read. And I'm gonna show you uh, just for example what it will look like when you highlight and annotate this PDF file. So let's select text here and let's just highlight this one. And I think it will be here. Yeah. Uh, these are, so this can be sorted by newest, oldest, and location. Uh, so this one is the last location that I'm highlighting. Mm, and if you uh, select a text and annotate, you can click on annotate, you can add some uh, notes over here. Uh, if you are thinking something or if you get some idea when you're reading. Uh, and click on post to only me and you will have annotate annotations over here now let me show you how you can do that let's close our note and first we'll need to install a plugin called annotator and we need to add a metadata our new note mentioning the location of our file uh, let me just show you uh, click on settings go to comity plugins and i'm sure you have turned off safe mode uh, click on browse and search for annotator over here click on annotator and once you have installed you will see an option see an option to enable this plugin and after you have enabled click on options and here are some settings that you can tweak and use annotation mode by default click uh, turn it on and if you have uh, prefix and postfix on i i like to turn it off what this does is when you highlight some text in an uh, in a pdf file or if a file uh, prefix will add some text before the highlight in your note and also same as postfix and highlight the highlighted text this means showing in the pdf or if a file uh, the text that you have highlighted and these are some other se settings uh, you can use the dark mode by default and there are all other color settings for now i'll just uh, turn on light mode and now we have set up our annotator plugin okay now let's uh, use this annotator plugin for that we'll need to add our ebooks pdfs or if of files in either obsidian or we can use a, use them directly from our remote storage uh, if uh, here is an example of my vault if you have stored the pdf files or if files in obsidian itself you can just create a new node and use these three dashes for a metadata and click uh, and write annotation target and use double dash you have to paste the whole file name give and take why helping others drives of success including the file extension so i'll just copy it and click on paste forget to give a space here and let's in this and if you uh, click on this more options and annotate it will open this uh, file okay let's uh, go back to our open as md and markdown format and if you have uh, pdf files in your remote storage and you don't want to put them in your obsidian vault you can just copy the uh, path of your ebooks ebooks uh, for example i'm uh, this is Kubel essential writing routines thing by James Clear. I'll just copy the path and paste the path here. And if I click on annotate, it will open this as a PDF. Now you can uh, read this book, uh, read read it, highlight it, and annotate it. All of the notes uh, that are will be stored in Obsidian itself. So you don't need to worry about anything and if i click on highlight here it will stay as highlighted and if i click on annotate and write writing routine for writers and click on post to only me so let's say these are two notes and i can open this as md and this looks something like this when we are in editing mode but if you switch to reading mode these uh, notes will be previewed in a block code format. I have a different CSS being used for 
this block code that's why they are looking i think a little bit unusual but anyway this is how you i think this plugin will be much useful for people who don't have a uh, kindles or uh, any other e-readers and they prefer to read on their laptops or mobiles and and would like to take a lot of notes highlights for future reference also if you click on show annotation it will take you to the place where uh, this highlight is in your file so if i click on show annotation for this it will take me to the same place here that's the uh, highlighted text so this is how you annotate and highlight epops and pdfs on obsidian easily thank you for watching this video and if you found this video helpful uh, don't forget to subscribe 